Today's the day. I'm officially taking the Jimny to go get roadworthied and it is going for sale. Um, the new owner should be collecting it today and driving it away into the sunset. Week or so that I've spent with the Jimny, looking after it, cleaning it up, having a last little bit of fun with it. It's uh, reminded me a lot about why I love the Jimny and uh, it's going to definitely be sad to see it go. Woo, that's a bright sun. <laughs> Um, but you know what? Exciting things ahead. So, here we go. Welcome to another episode of Rome Over Landing. My name is Adrian Abrahams and I have dedicated the past two years of my life to building the ultimate micro overlander. But with things changing, I think it is time to move up to a bigger vehicle. So join me on this exciting build series where we turn a used 4x4 rental vehicle into the ultimate overlander. Okay, awesome. So we're all done with the Roadworthy. Obviously the Jimny passed with flying colors. It's a basically a brand new vehicle. <laughs> it's gonna find its new home at Suzuki Kalami with its new owner. It all started at Suzuki Bramley, Kalami's uh, originator, when I came and picked the Jimny up. And it's kind of funny that now I'm dropping it off here and it's gonna be finding its new owner here as well. It's been very cool. Suzuki Kalami have been uh, really, friendly kind of family for me while I've owned the Jimny and they've helped me out in so many different little ways with making videos and all of those things and they've actually helped me with selling the vehicle now so yeah here we go I'm keen to meet the new owner after spending all week getting the vehicle cleaned up and ready to go off to its new home it was looking seriously good even if a little bit naked without all of its accessories on are you saying let's go already you're saying what are we waiting for I was glad that the Jimny would be going to a great new home with owners that are hungry for adventure, exactly where the Jimny belongs. And that is the end of the, the legacy that is the Rome Jimny and it is on to a new home now. It's quite a little bit of an emotional situation but you know what? I think they're going to have a blast with it and I'm really pumped for Rome 2.0 and what's coming next. So I hope you guys are gonna stay tuned. Let's see, what's gonna be next? I've been waiting for this day now for a good couple of weeks since the Jimny has kind of uh, left my driveway and I've been having to borrow <laughs> everybody else's vehicles. Today, officially, my Hilux has arrived in South Africa. It got loaded in Namibia last week, um, obviously due to COVID-19. So Bush Law have been wrangling up all of their vehicles from all across Southern Africa. And today, it's gonna be my first time seeing the vehicle, so it's very exciting. There's been a lot of planning going on and a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but now it's time for everything to begin. I don't think I'll be taking the vehicle home today, but it'll definitely be sometime this week. So let's go and have a first look. So I'm here at Bush Law again. They've just received a whole bunch of new vehicles and mine is one of them. So now obviously because these vehicles are built to travel all around Southern Africa, they're kitted out pretty nicely here at Bush Law. So you can see this thing's got a full size canopy, full swing door, draw system, all of these things. And today we're taking everything out. So it's gonna need a little bit of a, a good clean. You know, also once everything's come off, we'll take the vehicle, get the tray rubberized, you know, go to the panel beaters, get it kind of fixed up a little bit. And yeah, kind of get it into as good a condition as possible before we begin our whole build. Now, these Bush Law vehicles are seriously capable overlanders all on their own. And thousands of people a year have incredible lifetime experiences in vehicles just like this. But I want to build something a little bit more special. And the Rome Hilux has a long journey ahead of it and is going to need the help of the best overlanding gear manufacturers in South Africa to make it all happen. So, off with the old, 
to make way for the new. So I've had a proper walk around the vehicle and just inspected the bodywork. And I'm gonna be honest with you, though, with a little bit of TLC, I think we are gonna have a seriously nice truck to be playing with. So the vehicle will be coming with a good set of Cooper ST tires. It comes pre-installed with a long-range tank as well. So that's like two pretty important and pretty expensive things that are already ticked off the build list, which is a really nice place to kind of be beginning the build. So the rest of the stuff, we're just going to be able to kind of get in there, put in some, you know, some new seat covers, put on the canopy, and really start building this vehicle out and seeing the transformation. I mean, especially once these bumpers get removed, and we put on the aftermarket bumpers, it's really gonna start turning into something special. Interior wise, it's a bit dusty and in need of a clean. The center console's got a little bit of damage, which I'm sure they'll probably be able to just fix up. And you know what's nice is because these trucks have had seat covers on them since day one, the seats are in really good condition, which is really great. And I mean, honestly, it's looking seriously clean in here. That's that for today. I'm gonna head out now. They're gonna give the vehicle a bit of a clean and tomorrow we're gonna be back. They're gonna hoist up the vehicle and we're gonna start working on just draining the oils and get it into tip top running condition. The Bucky is just getting a nice little clean over there. It's amazing what a little bit of a clean can do to a vehicle in such a short amount of time. The paint's looking good. The seats are looking good. Everything is looking good. So just now it's going to be coming in here, we're going to hoist it up and have a look underneath. They're going to do a major service, do all of that stuff, drain the oils and just give it a fresh kind of lease on life. So we're just having a look at the service issue of the vehicle and because it's at 83,000 Ks, it's actually just had a major service. So what we're gonna do now is they're just gonna do an oil service, but otherwise it's pretty much ready to go. Um, so yeah, I'm really getting quite excited to get this baby out and start this build. Now, this part was particularly interesting for me to get to film and watch as Samuel from Bushlaw walked me through the full vehicle inspection and oil service. It is because of time like this that I got to really know my Suzuki Jimny over the period of the previous build. And I know that taking the time to watch and learn during this Hilux build is definitely going to benefit me in the long run. And knowing where everything is on the new vehicle is just a good thing in general. Samuel topped up the transmission oils, checked the diff oils for any signs of water ingress and replaced the oil filter. These vehicles usually get serviced after every big trip they do. So my vehicle has had a service roughly every 10,000 kilometers since new. So the motor will give me many years of life if I keep up the same routine going forward. So we're gonna pull it off this lift here. We're gonna move it onto the high lift there and take off the wheels, check the drum brakes, and maybe even swap over the rubber on the wheels. Luckily, all of the Bushlaw vehicles run on great quality tires. The Cooper ST Max, which is a 50% all-terrain, 50% road tire. They would be replacing these tires and steel rims later that day, but it was time now for us to check the brakes, re-tightening the handbrake and giving the rear drums a bit of a clean inside, and checking the brake pad wear on the front. Both have got some good life left and aren't any cause for concern, so back everything goes. I requested that the mud flaps be reinstalled and they went to grab a tailgate for the vehicle. It is now getting seriously close to taking this baby home. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Bush Law for all their hard work in getting this vehicle prepped and finding me the perfect vehicle for Rome 2.0. It wasn't an easy task but they've done a really good job. And honestly, I'm super grateful to have such a beast for the next build. And it's definitely got a lot of life left in it. So who knows where this vehicle is gonna go, what this vehicle is gonna do. I'm super excited to see where Rome 2.0 takes us. So I hope you guys are gonna join in and I'll see you next week on the next episode of Rome Overlanding. Cheers.
Thank you for tuning into this episode of Rome Overlanding. I would love to know what you think of the new vehicle choice in the comments down below. I just want to take a moment to thank my awesome patrons for their support, as well as let you know if you want to join in on our weekly live streams and updates, you should head over to Patreon and become a member. On the next episode of Rome Overlanding, we head over to Tackle Products in Kyle Army to transform the interior of the vehicle. Subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out. I also want to thank my incredible sponsors for making all of this possible. Anyways, I'll see you next week.